there, I'm Jen. You probably know that, but just in case you don't, I'm Jen. I love traveling. I'm real into solo travel lately, but I also love traveling with my children. I'm in a place in my life where I have time to travel solo, afforded to me by um, my co-parenting schedule as a divorced mom of two, and time when I travel with my kids. I share a lot on this channel about my solo travels. I do not share a lot about my travels with my children, uh, just for privacy and also just for personal, personal reasons, but I do sometimes. And today I thought it would be fun to share a what's in my kids carry on video. Uh, because who doesn't love a carry on video? You'll have to excuse my voice. I'm almost 40 and apparently that means now I have allergies. So, fun times. So please excuse that, but without further ado, I thought I would show you what I've been packing in my kids' carry-ons as of late. And we've traveled several times in the last, I would say in the last year especially. Um, and, I, and these are bags that I pack specifically for airline travel. To be honest, I would bring pretty much the same things for car trips. And this particular trip that I'm packing for is a hybrid air to road trip travel situation where we're flying into somewhere, renting a car, and then driving a bit further. Um, so I pack essentially the same for either. That's just the particulars of this, this particular trip. But uh, these are the kids' backpacks. I have, in years past, actually this is the first time we're bringing their kind of bigger kid backpacks. Um, I've used their toddler backpacks previous to this trip. Um, so what I have done, at least, I don't know if it's really intentional, but I've chosen to use their, like, smaller backpacks for travel as opposed to their current backpacks that they use for school um, to keep them separate. But now as they're getting bigger and getting bigger backpacks, so their travel backpacks get bigger, I don't know if this makes a difference. That's just what it is. So these are, like, the little kid versions of the Pottery Barn backpacks. They have used them for school, and they use bigger versions of them now. Um, but they're great backpacks, they have lots of compartments, they hold a lot, they're comfortable for the kids, they're breathable, and they work great. Okay, so that's the gear. Here's what goes into those gears. The absolute most important thing that we cannot forget to pack, and would not forget to pack, but we absolutely cannot forget to pack, are loveys. Loveys, loveys, loveys. So I actually have, for my children, identical sets of loveys. So there's two Bunsies, this is Cece's, and two Foxes, this is Donnie's. I bring them all when we travel. The children get one, as they do on any given day. I alternate them, because I wash them weekly. Uh, so we alternate them daily. Cece likes to choose her, to swap hers daily. They both know that they have two sets of them, it's not a secret. Cece likes to swap hers daily. Donnie likes to swap his weekly. I just let them go with it. But they carry on the plane, whatever lovey <laughs> is of the day, and I pack in my carry-on, not my check bag, never my check bag. It's kind of like your computer. Don't put the loveys in the check luggage. <laughs> Just don't. I carry those like in their own little pouch, the secondary ones on, in my carry-on for safekeeping and in case of a lovey emergency. Like somebody gets spilled on, or God forbid lost, knock on wood, there's no wood around here, so we'll just have to dig deep into the couch there. Uh, it's good to have a backup. If you have children or are about to have children or are thinking one day of having children, you don't know if they're going to have a lovey or they have one, I recommend starting to, you know, just like slot in having a secondary lovey and getting them loved in and just alternating them frequently. I altered mine, I alternated mine daily when my kids were. Newborns, they both got into their loveys about the age of four to six months and have been like this ever since. So not every kid has a lovey. My kids are lovey kids. That's just what we do. Their loveys come with them. Obviously, they're usually holding them. Um, and that's, that's, what, that's the first most important thing. The second most important thing, at least in this stage in their life, for them are their iPads. My kids love their iPads. Um, they don't get a lot of access to their iPads at my house on any given day. They get uh, about 30 to 45-ish minutes of iPad time every day, uh, depending. Some days they get a little bit more if, 
it's like a long weekend or a summer holiday and mommy needs to get some work done. Um, they prefer this over TV. They don't watch a lot of TV uh, or really any TV. So I do try to limit screen time a little bit. Screen time is a very sensitive su subject and people have different opinions on it and I'm not here to judge anybody. That's just what we do. So to have them for the entirety of a plane ride or a car trip is a big deal for them and it makes it a much more seamless experience for everybody. My kids like to interact with each other when they're playing on their iPads. They have similar games downloaded. They like to play at the same time. It's cute how they do like what is probably a fairly solitary kind of activity for most people and they make it into a game with each other. So I like that. So we have their uh, wireless, their Bluetooth wireless headphones. I just like the idea of having less cords. It causes less situations on the airplane with getting stuck on things or God forbid like choking or anything. Just less cords is better in general. I always make sure you charge them fully before as well as the iPads obviously. Um, we've been happy with these. I've been using them for a couple of years. I'll link them. And these cases for the iPads are great because they have the handle, they're lightweight, but they're heavy foam. My son in particular is not gentle with his iPad and has protected it on countless countless situations, but it can be propped up this way or it can be propped up this way or even hung if you have like a way to hang it on the back of the seat in a car. Uh, so these cases are great. I really like them. You can see they've been through a lot, but um, they, they persevere. Um, so the iPads fully charged with the headphones fully charged, very important. In addition to that, I like to pack activities art supplies and a new toy for each child and I try to pick up new things um, in terms of activities for that novelty right so each child would get one to two um, activity books my kids love the repositionable sticker books uh, so these are the ones from Melissa and Doug restickable stickers and it's like a Paw Patrol theme and it has different scenes with restickable stickers and these have been a very popular popular choice for my kids for the last couple of years for both of them, these Melissa and Doug puffy sticker play sets, which come in different, um, all different sorts of scenes. So you can see this is for Cece, this is for Donnie, and they've actually, they make this into a game too. They'll play make-believe with the stickers together, and it's adorable. I, mean, I just, I can't, my kids are adorable. <laughs> I'm only a little bit biased. But, uh, so those go a long way, and they're reusable. So it's not just for one way. We reuse these and then when we get home from a trip, they go into our art uh, cabinets and they continue to play with them on the daily past a trip. And they'll use them for the duration of the trip, trip too. So not as it only something to kind of help with the travel and, and entertainment on travel, it's playtime for the trip too. I also always have these little arts and crafts kits packed. I have one of these in my mommy bag that I have just in general. Um, when we're doing any like going out to dinner or anything uh, but when we travel each kid gets their own so it has some paper in it it has selection of stickers in it it's got um, these scentable uh, crayons they're like twist up crayons um, what are these called why am I blinking colored pencils there it is and a little notebook to color in um, I need to put a little bit more paper in there. I'm just saying I need to restock these. But these are not new. My kids are familiar with these. I just restock them as they get depleted. And again, acts as double time. You can use it, you know, in tr during the travel, but also when we're on a trip somewhere, we're generally eating out quite frequently. And so we bring these so the kids have activities to do. Now, I mentioned I bring a toy. This is a little bit risky. I'm gonna tell you, this is fairly risky. But I've been doing this the last couple of trips. I've gotten them Polly Pockets and they love them. Now I just wanna preface this by saying I, I, I don't think there's such a thing as like gender restrictions and gender roles with toys. Toys are toys and play is play. My son loves playing with these things and he also loves building and trucks and things. So it's a, he's just a kid, right? He loves interacting with his sister. So I buy them the things that I know that they will enjoy at the current moment. Polly Pocket has been all the rage for our trips in the last year. Um, and they only get a new Polly Pocket when we travel and they kind of know that and they look forward to it. Uh, so for as long as, you know, as long as this keeps being interesting to them, this is what we'll get as they age up into wanting different things. 
then we'll do that too. Um, but actually I have the last few trips of Polly Pockets on my sofa bag table right there and they play with them together every day. So I get one for each, but they share them, they play together, they swap, um, which is really cute too. So this is what tropical, tropical pineapple purse. Awesome. That's what it looks like if you're curious. I'm gonna, I'll take these out of the box and completely put everything in it before I pack it into their bag. And this is the Otter Aquarium Compact. Uh, so that's really cool. Um, this one is probably the one I'll put in Donnie's bag. It's got slightly less pieces in it, and I know he will appreciate the animals because he loves animals. And then this one I got for Cece, and she loves mermaids and sea stuff and things like that. It's got a narwhal even. She loves narwhals. So I will completely unpackage these and put them in their bags so we're not bringing any boxes or anything. They're ready to go. I'm just still in the getting ready phase, so we haven't got, gotten there yet. So that's activities, right? We've got iPads. We've got activity books, we have arts and crafts supplies, and we have new toys for everybody, and lovies. And this is all about keeping us occupied and happy. Do they watch their iPads the whole time? No, they'll generally cycle through everything. Can they if they want to? Sure. Will they use all this stuff in the car trip portion of this travel day? Yeah, that's fine. Anything that's in their backpack they know is a go. But my children also know that they're not allowed to open their backpacks until we're seated and buckled in on the plane. That way, it builds anticipation, we don't blow through everything while we're waiting for the plane, and while that can make the waiting part, especially if we're delayed, if we're delayed or something, I might bring out the iPads. I try to keep the activities for the plane itself, um, because the happier and more occupied we are on the flight, the better it is for everybody involved. Now when it comes to comfort on the plane, I generally pack them an additional layer. So in summer travel, that would just mean like a zip up hoodie that will either go in their backpacks if they fit or I will carry them. And I always bring their water bottles and snack cups in their bags so they have access to this at any time. We will wait to fill our water bottles till we're through security. Most airports these days have the easy to fill water bottle stations. Um, so that works out just fine. I will say with any any flip top water bottle like this with a straw, you just have to be careful after takeoff to depressurize it. I just will open it briefly and then close it back up. Otherwise, when they open up this part, it can like squirt. <laughs> Happened many times. This is not the only food I bring for my children. I bring a lot of food. So first of all, if I have a choice, I prefer to fly mid-morning departure with my children because that gives us time to have our regular wake-up time. My kids are still young. They wake up very early. That gives us time to have our regular wake-up time and our regular breakfast, get ready, and then go. I'm already packed and ready so we can still do our morning routine. Uh, so they've had a full meal already and I know they're good at least for a few hours. I will then pack a full meal. So generally I pack a lunch type of meal peanut butter and jelly or sunflower butter and jelly, whatever we're into at the moment. Fruit, cucumber slices, and then other snacks. So if there's goldfish in their cups that's in their bags, I'll bring pretzels, I'll bring the little snack cup of Pringles that my daughter loves so much. Fruit, um, so a full meal and a couple additional snacks. They have water too. So having snack, I don't think you can bring too much food with children. That's been my motto since having kids when traveling uh, for the past, you know, six and a half years of traveling with children. I have never regretted bringing a lot of food. We generally eat it all, if not during travel, within the first day or two of our trip. Because again, it's stuff that can be eaten. And then lastly, we're still in the era of a pandemic, so we wear masks on the plane. That's, you know, I don't think it's mandatory anymore. We just do. Um, we bring these surgical style masks, so I've got plenty for both kids. They have their own little pouches. Um, and that's what we bring for that. And that's pretty much everything that goes into their bags. I just think it's fun. Carry-on videos are fun. I did recently post a, what's in my carry-on bag video and that is more recent that that's pretty much all that's in my carry-on even when I'm traveling with my kids. I will say the things I add on to my bag when I'm traveling with my kids are 
a full meal for everybody, which I will carry usually in a separate bag or like a little lunch, like a soft sided lunch bag. And I bring extra bottoms for each kid just in case. This isn't really something I need for my daughter so much anymore. I still do out of precaution. I'll bring an extra pair of undies and extra pair of bottoms. If for my son, it's still pretty necessary just in case. So I always make sure, sometimes I'll even bring a whole outfit for him. I'm kind of at the place where we don't need to bring extra shirts. I don't think it's overpacking to bring a full extra outfit for each child. Um, but I at least make sure I have bottoms and fresh undies for each kid. And that's also good just in general. If you're worried about losing luggage, you have a fresh change of clothes for your kids. And their comfort, to me, is paramount. And I just, I prioritize that above all else. And we have pretty, pretty positive experiences traveling. This system has worked well for me. Um, it's getting easier to travel with them as they get older, especially my son who does not like sitting still, who's pretty wiggly. He's just, now he's four and he is much easier to manage on the plane. I'm telling you, the hardest is but like those, those toddler years. Um, when they're past the point of being able to nurse the whole flight, but before the point where they're like, have a long enough attention span to watch an iPad and do an art project for more than like 10 minutes without needing to run around. Uh, so just entering that phase where everybody's getting a lot more self-sufficient in transit. I think those are my best tips. I will say one thing, at least that's been important with my kids, is they're in this phase, and they have been for the past couple years, where they're terrified of automatic flushers. And I think I mentioned this actually in my personal carry-on video, my like adult carry-on video, where I shared how I carry around a small pad of post-it notes. I just keep them in there all the time. I also have them in my like mommy day bag. And it's a good trick. I don't remember where I heard it, but this is not, I did not make this up. This is, this has been going around the mom circuits for a long time. If you put a sticky note, like right when you walk into the stall, if you put a sticky note over the sensor on the toilet, it won't automatically flush when the kids get on or off. You know, they're erratic. The airport bathrooms, in their defense, the airport bathrooms are especially loud. I don't know why they have to make the flusher so loud. It's just like super powerful. It scares the heck out of them and they won't use the bathroom with it. And that's a problem because we go to the bathroom before we get on the plane. It's like, everybody's gotta go pee. I don't care if you have to go or not, we're going. Um, and just like I would do for myself, and I do. Having the post-it notes in my bag makes it so my kids aren't afraid. Mommy has the post-it notes, mommy's on top of it. I put the post-it note on, I invite the children into the stall, everybody does their business, I usher them to the outside of the stall, I take the post-it note off, I let it flush when they're out of it, and they'll, they'll stand there and hold their ears, but they won't be like right next to it where it jolts them, and it's just a much happier experience, and everybody pees, and we pee in peace. So that's just a little extra tip I thought I'd share in case you hadn't heard it from like 20 other mommy people. Uh, but yeah, that's what I pack for my kids in their carry-ons. Uh, I'd love to know what kind of things you pack for your kids in your carry-ons, so if you have anything um, that you guys always bring that's kind of a tradition for you. I think it's fun to see what other people do. I hope this gave you some ideas or was entertaining, and I'm wishing you all happy and safe travels this summer and always. Take good care, you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.